Nissan just shook up the entire industry with this one, an all-new $9,000 small truck, and it is amazing. With great practical design and a performance to back it up, it is here to change the game. Plus, it takes a lot of inspiration from the already beloved Frontier and actually delivers what the compact segment has been desperately needing, all with a $9,000 price tag. And they did this by going back to the basics. We all know that the Ford Maverick has been leading the market for such a long time, maybe even longer than it should. We say this because the demand and what is available on the market are not matching. Just look at the price tags. It was supposed to be the simple truck we'd all been waiting for, but in reality, that was not the case. So that is why Nissan bases their new truck on simplicity, but they do things very differently. It starts with the engine. You've got only one choice here, but it's a knockout. A V6 engine cranking out a hefty 310 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque, all without the fuss of a hybrid system. That is fantastic news, because it means we can skip the headache of diving into uncharted tech waters, keeping things straightforward and stress-free. No more head-scratching or wasting precious moments, sifting through a maze of options when one stellar engine does the trick. Another huge perk of sticking with this classic powerhouse? It tends to outlast and outperform the more complicated engines, giving you the upper hand in maintenance. Yeah, you can tackle pretty much any issue on your own. And don't sweat the lack of hybrid tech. This engine is surprisingly light on fuel, and the truck packs some cutting-edge features that push its efficiency even further. This beast has been put through a lot and fine-tuned over time, proving itself to be both mighty and dependable. Capable of towing a solid 5,000 pounds and hauling up to 1,500 pounds, it easily claims the top spot in its league. Honestly, at this price point, it's a tall order to find anything that delivers more bang for your buck. If you ask me, this thing is one of the best we've ever had in a while, keeping it simple and steering clear of piling on those, quite frankly, unnecessary extras that just bloat the price. It's a genius move. They've actually dodged a bullet on this one because, at this price range, that only works for already established and leading brands like the Tacoma. Let's face it, you don't pick up a Nissan to make a statement or flaunt your style, do you? By dialing things back, Nissan has clarified what the Frontier stands for, zeroing in on a very particular buyer, a smart strategy. They're not trying to be all the things to all people. Instead, they're focused on delivering exactly what their core customers need most. As they say, it's best to be the master of one. But most of all, what this means is that the price will be cheaper, they'll have less demand, therefore better availability, and a better experience for us. I'm not saying that this will be perfect, it will have flaws. I'm not talking about any additional things. This very own concept is about to shoot them in the foot. Let me explain. Transmissions and Options Just like under the hood, there's only one show in town when it comes to the gearbox, a 9-speed automatic. Now, that might be a bit of a downer, at least that's how we see it, and chances are you might too. However, it's key to remember that automatic transmissions are actually champs when it comes to being eco-friendly and saving on gas. That's a huge plus, especially since we're missing a hybrid variant here. What's your take though? Does this sway your choice at all? But when you really think about it, this makes sense because they don't want you to be confused and buy additional features because they can't do that. Plus, they're targeting only a specific type of customer that they want, so they can actually provide what their buyers really need. Opting for simplicity truly shapes nearly every aspect of this truck, and let's just say that the approach isn't flawless, particularly when you peek inside. A lot of people might not like it, but it's really up to you to make the call. I'm just laying down the cold hard facts here. But that's not all. New Nissan models come with the Safety Suite package, the best and latest Nissan has to offer, and this model is spacious with the famous zero gravity seats. They are all great things, and we're not just saying this out of nowhere. They've managed to reduce noise by 80% even on their big trucks like the Frontier. But wait, there's more. Nissan's not just taking cues from the Frontier. Ever caught wind of the Nissan hardbody? This throwback wasn't just another truck on the block back in the day. Back in the 1980s, the hard-body truck was the talk of the town, amassing a cult following that's still going strong. 
Fast forward to now, and it's making a triumphant return. Known for its dependability and gas mileage, it wasn't exactly a speed demon or tech wizard, but that was its charm. It was straightforward and got the job done, no frills needed. And that is what they did on this Model 2. Yet, surprisingly, it doesn't fall short on appeal. The center stage is dominated by a hefty 9-inch display, equipped with all the essentials. The leather seats offer a touch of luxury with optional heating and ventilation, but the pervasive plastic might be a turn-off. It does, however, hint at cost-cutting measures, perhaps to keep this beast both badass and budget-friendly. But let's get real here. Not everything that glitters is gold, right? Nowadays, it seems like every automaker is either bringing back an old classic or whipping up something that nods to the past. But this one stands out. The first thing that grabs your attention? The sleek blackout treatments slapped on the bumpers, door handles, bed rails, and fender flares echoing the classic original. It's a hot trend lately, and frankly, it nails the look on this hard body edition. Total eye candy if you ask me. But the wheels actually take center stage. They absolutely steal the spotlight. Sporting a cool blend of futuristic yet nostalgic vibes with their 17-inch rims wrapped in all-terrain rubber, these wheels pay a stellar tribute to the truck's legacy. Hats off to the designers, they did a great job. If you ask me, it has such an amazing look and most of all, a design that offers incredible practicality. You see, there is one thing that truck buyers can't compromise on – bed size. The base model is available in both a king cab with a 6.1-foot bed and a crew cab configuration with a 5-foot bed. But the hard body edition is only available with the crew cab layout. This may be disappointing to some, but what can I say, they're keeping it simple. But most of all, they've nailed it by sticking to the proven formula, and it's not just about looks. They kicked off with a production spec Frontier SL. Yeah, that's the trim that's loaded to the brim with all the top-tier goodies. It's got 4x4 capabilities that'll make any terrain its playground, plus a suspension that's tougher and slightly lower, giving it that sporty edge and sharper handling for those tight curves. And let's talk about its build, rocking a 10.1-inch clearance. I mean, do I even need to say it's built like a tank for the trails? So now, the real question is, how will it stack up against the competition? Because believe it or not, there are a few that come at this price point. Price and Competition Obviously, the hard body edition is going to be sold at a higher price tag compared to the base model, which is sold at $9,000. It is a great value for its money, even with all the drawbacks we talked about, because this truck answers most of the essentials. And if we're being honest, this thing is totally worth it, especially compared to its main rivals. And we're not talking about the Maverick that is sold for a price tag that is threefold this one. But the one company that has been trying to dominate this segment is Toyota. And that is what many people have been comparing the Nissan truck to. But let me tell you, the IMV Zero is not better. It's not even at the same level as this one. Think about it. A Nissan makes as reliable and strong cars as Toyota, and this thing is coming at a lower price. And have you seen the IMV? It doesn't even look like a truck. Of course, that is done purposefully, and if we're really being honest, it's like comparing apples to oranges. The Nissan truck is simply better. It takes things differently, and if you want to be unique and at the same time buy something practical without all the extra and useful features, you should get one. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.